Hey gang, it's Paul Ramsey and I'm joined by Karen Hand Harper who is presenting a two hour workshop at the 2017 NGH convention. The title is Listen So You Will Hear. And this is one of those ones that some of you are going to hear that and you're going to go, duh, I don't need to listen. Of course you got to listen. But this is one of the ones you should pay attention to. I know this is important. I'm going to get off my soapbox before I get really on it and let Karen talk about it. How are you, Karen? I'm great. And get up on that soapbox. <laughs> it's so important, Paul. It really is. When it I first really, got into this really business, is. I heard a hypnotist say, don't pay any attention to their conscious mind. It doesn't even know what it's talking about. Get right into the subconscious mind. Well, my reaction is it was the conscious mind that got them into your office. Yeah. Let's bring the conscious mind into this whole thing and let it participate. Right. You know, let's not do some great hypnosis and then have them walk out on the conscious mind go, hey, that was great, but I don't know if it's really going to work. Yeah. Let's get the conscious mind involved. Yep. Yep. And it helps by giving us a telling us exactly what to, to do. You've got great learning objectives here. Describe the difference between direct and indirect language. Mm -hmm. Name two key factors in listening for client motivation strategy and identify at least three ways to discover limiting belief systems. This is important stuff. This is where we get to like the, the real brass tacks of doing the work, right? I love it. Tell me, tell me more about why you chose to present about this topic. Okay, because I think the nitty gritty is in the um, pre-talk. I think change can be made in the pre-talk and the hypnosis solidifies the change, but I think we find out how to go about making that, helping that client make the change in the pre-talk. And so in my workshop, we will learn two very important things. The outcome intervention is something that I use with every client. It's a way to focus their attention by, by asking questions, we ask questions, conversational questions that focus their mind away from the problem and into the solution. So we're going to do the four step meta pattern. We're going to associate into the problem. We're going to break away from the problem. We're going to associate into a resource and slap the resource onto the problem for something new. That's the four step meta pattern. And there's a way to do that through the uh, outcome intervention, which is a series of questions so that you get their problem, you get their solutions, you get their strategies for how they work life, and you apply all of that so they're making the change. They give you all the words to use. We're also going to do uh, an, uh, an exercise in the workshop where we discover how to elicit personal trans words. How do you like that? Every single client has a set of personal trans words that really resonate with them. As an example, Paul, in a job, what has to be in that job for you to really enjoy it? Any job at all? Um, meaning. Meaning? What else? Anything else? Uh, I like to have a sense of meaning and purpose in any job that I do. I also, I'm very driven um, by... Um, growth. So if I do a job, I want to learn even while I'm doing that job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got um, to use personal transfers just with that. Let me feed yeah. them back to you. Meaning, growth, uh, learning, all of those things are Paul's internal values. We got that from just asking some question that had nothing to do with his resources or his uh, problem. Those are your innermost values. Now, as we drive you to a solution, you will learn how to make this so easy for your entire life that you'll be d driven to just continue to grow in that direction that you want to go. Does that make sense? I yeah. used your personal trans words to help you really yep. get into the suggestions I was giving you. Yep. Love it. That's what we're going to learn in this class is how to listen for the words to use to help them make the change they want to make. There's some like, incredible techniques. I'm, like, I'm like, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's some That's easy, great. Easy That's great. And you get the handout so that you can just follow along when you have your next client on Tuesday or Wednesday morning when you go back home. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, this is one of those things like I love. So what, what Karen's really saying is she's going to take you through strategies and tactics uh, with structure, right? She's got a clear sense. If you really listen to what she's saying, she's got a clear sense of the structure that she likes to implement with her clients. You follow that, you learn that, you turn right around, you go back and Monday morning when you're back at work, you start implementing. No extra like and read these books or learn this program or get certified in this. You just go back and you start implementing and making a difference in how you get results with people. That's awesome. 
It's pretty turnkey awesome. and it puts your uh, client right immediately into a solution mindset. Yep. Very yep. important. For That's great. How did you get to this point where you sort of figured this out? I went on a long search. Um, I love working with clients and I really love when clients have success. My first business, Paul, when I first got into the business, I got into a franchise business because I didn't know anything about running a business and I thought a business in a box would be great. Mm -hmm. Hypnosis franchise business was based on script gnosis. We did everything through scripts and it worked. It worked not even having anything on the client. It worked about, I don't know, 70 75% of the time. I was really concerned about the other 25%. I needed to know how to work with the 25%. In my business, I saw them for 26 or 52 weeks. So I saw them week after week after week. I knew whether they were making changes or not. I had to help those people or had to know how to help those people who weren't easily making changes. So I went on a search and I discovered if you put the client first, if you listen to what they're telling you, they will give you everything you need to know to help them come out of their rut and move into a success platform. Love it. Love it. All right. So just to recap, you guys, listen so you will hear is on uh, Friday, the first day of the convention. It's a two hour workshop and it starts at 4 p.m. Uh, so technically it's an hour and 50 minute workshop, but uh, it's what we generally call two hours. So uh, you're going to hang out with Karen. If you want to learn more about Karen, you can do that by going to karenhand.com. K-A-R-E-N-H-A-N-D.com. Awesome. Awesome. Karen, thanks for making this time for me. I look forward to seeing you in August at the convention. Thanks, Paul. You did a great job. Appreciate Thank it. You. All right. Bye-bye.